say you couldn't get a good grade and still be cool. Mm -hmm. No one said you couldn't be in art classes and AP classes and still have a whole bunch of friends. I never heard that before, because I took art classes. Life is more than just sports. And being able to be educated and learn stuff and, and take away from different aspects of life and just being able to tell my story and, and they relate to it, it just shows more that you're going to always have to be, I'm just going to talk about football, I'm going to talk about me, I'm going to talk about how I overcame everything. No, I want to talk about school, I want to talk about how I fought through adversity when it comes to grades and trying to better myself through academics. Say you even came to college here, bought out, went to the league, think about how many people would want to love to be in your shoes. The thing is, you can't even get here without grades. That's very, very important. In the end of the day, you're a student first before an athlete, and that's why I feel like it was more important to speak about athletes and uh, uh, more academics than just playing sports. You know, it's uh, I feel like academics, like my brother said, they can take you so much further than sports. You know, sports don't last forever, but uh, you know, academics does. And I feel like for them to take it all in and don't have to really speak about sports to get their attention, that made the day uh, even a better success. At Boys Town, most of our kids are facing a lot of adversity and they're facing a lot of challenges. The way they was able to talk to them and let them know about their challenges growing up that I think it was very helpful for them because most of them don't have anybody that's going to really pour into them. They had slogans, they had catchy slogans. Like, uh, it's not hard, it's just a challenge. And it's good to be a, a cool nerd. And I think those two things, it, it probably just, like I've seen a lot of kids' faces just light up when they heard those type of things. You know some kids who was always close to our teachers? Because they don't help you the most. They, they know more than I do. So when it was hard, I, I wasn't afraid or I wasn't nervous to say, how can I do this or how can I do that? And that's the same thing for all of you. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Having the kids understand where we're coming from and kind of put them in our shoes and, and put their shoes on our feet, it just creates a, a, a bond. Because sometimes you can talk to kids and you can have so many people come talk to, but everybody can't relate to them. And I think that one thing that was kind of big for us that we could be able to relate and they can really take in the message that we was giving them. And that goes a long way when you can have kids relate to your message and receive it, that means they can be able to give it. And so however as many students that was there today, they can help just as many. And then that just as many can help even more. And that, that's, the main, that's the main thing, that's the main importance for the students can see our message, relate to it, take it all in and give it out. And that was the whole thing from today.